Alright, time to find out where she's leading us. But first, got a couple things to read. Blackout, when the fuse is tripped, blah, yeah, we already know what happens there. As if possessed by William Vesper's sheet music, I played the tune that brought Selena back to life. Her perfume, the touch of her hand on my shoulder. I was marked. Wherever she would go, I would follow her. That's what we're about to do. Hopefully she leads me to some more matches. Could really use some. Okay. Looks like this place isn't haunted by Margaret anymore. Darling, please lead me somewhere safe. Ah, oh, fuck confuses. God damn, it's dark. Out of commission, like me, the telephone's seen better days. Oh wait, ooh, she destroyed her. Tonight, my little kitty, you'll go to Black Lake and you will swallow all these pills. If you have any second thoughts, read this note once again. You already tried several times, but you are too weak. What's holding you back? Leonard is gone. He must have found a new job, a new woman. He's happy without you. You have been judged, laughed at, condemned. You have no one. You are so lonely even your last words are for yourself. Your future is only darkness and ashes. Look straight into the night and open your eyes. This is your future. You have to let go. Do it for yourself. Joan Bennett. Mm, Polestar. Selena's light was like an antimatter to darkness, a bright negative to Margaret. Under her radiance, I survived the attack of the ghost. I owed her my life. I was now determined to walk with her until dawn. Sure. We'll do that. But first, I see matches on the floor. And another William tire excerpt. This morning I saw my reflection in the mirror. And I saw Mother's face instead of mine. I had a blank. When I regained consciousness, I had already started to cut the skin on my face. I'm in for a scar. Tonight, I will wear my mask during my sleep. It's a bit dirty. Blood is sticky, but it will protect me. I'm not at ease. This is the reason why I'm panicking for no reason. The Vesper factory is not going well. The Roosevelt taxes are causing a lot of harm, and the upkeep of the manor is a drain on the finances. I will need to let go a number of employees. Father would have never allowed that. I know all too well that our workers are poor. He may forgive me for what I'm about to do. Maybe it'll be a relief for the most destitute ones. At least it'll be a relief for me. Well, looks like everything is fucking breaking down. Maybe it's because he's been drinking too much at the, uh, at the bar. Where was she taking us? It didn't matter. I knew I would follow her, just like I knew nothing good was waiting for me up there. This path in the midst of the night would come to an end, in this world or another. stairs and of course just like that Selena abandons us uh, of course it wouldn't be that easy all right seriously I think this game is mostly reading <laughs> excerpt number 16 William Vesper's diary that girl is a diamond she is opening up little by little even if I don't ask anything she has more scars than I ever inflicted, 
Yet if she deserves none, her talent comes from there, surely. She says I make her happy, but she keeps crying. It is only on the stage when her voice and the sound of my piano meet that I feel I am loving her like a man and not like a desperate soul. When reality strikes back, I feel so powerless to think I have waited for her all my life and now I am like under anesthesia. Trapped behind these rotten walls I carry around me all the time. My hands are shaking when I touch her skin because I understood that someone was missing between me and her. Something that was there with all the other girls. A cold and sharp splinter of silver. Oh, is this about Selena? Did she hook up with William? I thought she was dating the producer the entire time. Poor girl must have gone through a little bit of a depression. And... When, like, maybe she started spending a lot of time with William here in his mansion. They got close. He saved her from pretty much killing herself. And ever since then, she started sending him letters from New York. Okay. None of the lights are working in here. What is going on in this place? Okay. Owner was very passionate about his books. That much is very obvious by now. Oh my god. I love you, Selena. What is this on? The message was like a desperate scream yelled into the void. Turn on the lights. Damn it. Yeah, yeah. I don't even know you. I don't even know who I am. Is that the sound of raindrops? Oh well, whatever. Selena so went through this door. So we should follow her. Okay, of course not. That means we gotta go to the other door. This one. I see the sun symbol on this side. Which means this room's probably safe? Uh oh. No matter what though, you can't let the lights go out. It's definitely raining. Definitely raining. Ah. Okay, Margaret's diary. Excerpt 24. This is the last one. I seldom write, but I never stop painting. My vision is larger now that I lost my sight. Even the house is now much clearer in my mind. Its shapes, its furniture, its angles. I don't just see my surroundings as they appear, but as a whole, as a global map my soul embraces at all times. The opposite of things offers infinite wealth. My mind is a dark room where I process images of the world. Images which bear a new truth. This is a valuable asset to counter the plans of the old fools from the Vesper management board. I can read into them like the mediocre books they are, working with my lawyer to take them out one at a time. I am the only heir. William will be next, and this company will be the tool for his ascent. I can see all the hatred he has for me. I can live with that. He is only eleven and he's still afraid of the dark. I don't need his consent to force him towards his destiny. Wow, dude, this mom. She is a... She is definitely a hard ass. Nightmarish paintings. Ooh, this one's kind of funny looking. <laughs> the hairy dude on the right. She... Ooh, a shoe. Was it Selena's or did it belong to someone else? I see you over there, Margaret. I see you. I don't think I want to approach you, though. An ogre devouring a man. Uh, her painting abilities definitely decreased over time. Note to self, mother does not see almost anymore in the darkness. 
Earlier, one of Mother's shadows sprung in front of me as I was walking past the angle of the rooms. She raised her arm towards me and grasped me. I was holding a candle and, struck by fear, I let it go. The flame was blown out and, as I was stepping back, I saw the thing freeze. She snuffled the darkness and walked away. I will remember this for sure. To escape the ghosts, I need to merge with the night. Clad in the same black attire, I become one of them. Damn it. Alright, I guess that's what we gotta do. I have no idea where I'm going, but there's a door here. Looks like I made it. Let's go in. But first I wanna look at this painting right here. This is kinda of weird. Look at that thing. Anyway. Are we safe? Where the fuck am I? I am in a new room. Ugh. Witch. Okay, so let's take a look at this chronologically. I don't think I have all the photos. But we'll see what we can, you know, put together. They got married. They had a kid. Um... This is the company. This is William growing up. There's one picture missing right here. And I'm guessing this guy on the piano is William? No, it can't be. That's gotta be... That's gotta be Henry. Yeah. That's gotta be Henry. Because it's only like further further down that um Henry died. Yeah. And I, this is, that's a photo, the bald guy in that, this picture is still Henry, because he hasn't died yet. Boom, now he's dead. Weird. Weird. Anyway. Matches. Can I turn that light on? There's a candle right above me. Guess not. Ugh, God, I can't believe we can't move a simple chair while holding a match. That's just plain ridiculous. Oh, that's Selena's sound. From Selena to William, excerpt number eight. The next evening we have an argument again. When I begin packing up, Jin pushes me against the wall. I remember the shock. I'll keep the mark of his fingers around my wrist for weeks. After that he comes back to his senses and prepares a tea, as if he wants to be forgiven. I drink it and I cry. I see my tears drop in the cup and disappeared in the dark water. What has happened to us? I suddenly feel very tired. I fall on the ground. I call Jim, but he just stares at me without moving a finger. Just before I pass out, he tells me, I couldn't let that happen, you understand? I don't want to become a monster. My father was enough. And I lose consciousness. Did he? Did Jim drug her? Or did he kill her? Was it cyanide in her tea? I see another one of Margaret's ghosts. I'm just gonna avoid her. I think, yep, yeah, that's her. Ooh. Ooh. What is going on here? Ooh, a uh, cord. Ooh. Oh, no. Oh, no. No, no, no. You stay away from me, you crazy broad. Alright. There's another gramophone. Ooh, turn off the light. Damn, I still died. Oh, there's a note here I didn't read. Marcus Starry, number 23. According to Dr. Rosenthal, my sight is getting even worse. Only vague differences in lights help me differentiate day from night. Last week, because I was afraid to hurt myself, I had to ask Sarah to help me walk around. I had finally accepted the idea of not painting anymore. But I made that dream about the war in Europe bombs were scorching the ground. One of them unearthed my father's body and vaporized it into the sky. He rained on me like black mud and that made me understand darkness had always been here, in the earth, in myself. It was written all along. When I woke up I had all the color tubes thrown away to keep only the black ones. In front of the canvas, which I almost couldn't distinguish, I used my hands around the frame to picture in my mind. And then I started painting focusing only on my movements, quick 
incisive strokes, drawing new and clear geometries, cast shadows, and I started controlling my world again. I had left William, to his great satisfaction, for too long in the hands of the house servants. It was time I resumed working on his education. That explains the note we picked up earlier, the one that says that she can kind of see you in the dark. Like, barely. That's why we gotta put our lights out? That's interesting, but that's also scary as shit. Uh, freaking, the camera angles are screwing with me. I see a box of, yeah, a box of matches over there. And, uh, turn on, turn one on, please. Yeah. And a photograph. Here we go. She started painting really weird things after she went blind. Really abstract stuff. Really creepy stuff. Anyway, time to inch my way over there. Oh, another book. Excerpt 22. After my accident last year, my sight has fallen to a critical threshold. As if he turned his back on me and started walking away, the world is out of my reach. I can't see, but I cried a lot, refusing the obvious. During the day, the world is like a white canvas filled with blurred shapes which disappear as soon as the sun sets, as if they were swallowed by darkness. Using special glasses and my face close to the paper, I can write a little. Using the same tools, I can paint as well. I had electric lights installed in my office in order to keep working and reading. This hard work triggers awful headaches that only morphine manages to fight off. Barely. I think William is trying to take advantage of my weakness to try and escape my reach. He has no compassion. He doesn't love me. He probably never loved me. That is a little sad. Just a little bit. He probably would have loved her if she wasn't so unbearable. Oh, Gotta stop dying. Anyway. Opening this door again. Let's go through again. And follow the electric plug. Although it's kind of useless without without activating the fuse. There she is. Selena, help me. Fuck. Gotta find a disc. I can't do... I can't open this door unless I have a light source. This light, this like spotlight above me is probably gonna be the light source. But how am I supposed to turn on anything in this house when there is no electricity? Oh god, let's avoid her. Gotta avoid her. Creep along the walls. Guy, I wish I knew your name. I'd feel a little bit more connected to you if I knew your name. Just saying. Just saying. Okay. There's a bird. Stuffed pelican. Oh. Oh no, 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 no. Okay, I think I lived. Oh god. I don't know where I'm running. I can't see a goddamn thing, but I somehow survived that. Fuck. I don't like this. Okay. Got. A fucking record. What's this say on the wall? Some miss something loved me? Do you love me? I don't know. I don't know. Let's pick up Margaret's diary. There's a bunch of diaries around here that I wasn't able to get because I freaked out. Father was on that same bed he has been staying for a year. His skin was like stone, gray and rough. It smelled of death. Or rather, it smelled of madness. His eyes were rolling in his face. He had blood on his hands, but I couldn't figure out where it came from. He was looking at the ceiling, yelling. I yelled at him, telling him to stop. The yells stopped. Father then stared at me with big, empty eyes. He was trembling, and then he started spitting blood. He spat it towards me, on me. The red drops were flying all over the room, on my dress on my face. 
Something landed on the floor with a disgusting sound. I didn't dare to check what it was. This is the fourth entry. This was probably hers as a young girl. They had both them. Um, both Henry and her father had the same disease. That probably didn't bode well for her opinion of him. Anyway, gotta relax. Get my ass back to that fucking gramophone so that we can hopefully call Selena to help our punk ass out. God damn it, they're everywhere. They're every fucking where. She's there too. Where's the gramophone? Where is it? She's under the bed. She's fucking goddamn everywhere. Run this way. Run past her. I don't know where I'm going. Oh, that kind of wire is always connected to an electrical panel. Let's see if we can find that panel. A thick electrical cable is lying on the floor like a dead still serpent disappearing into the dark. To the other end of it, I was hoping to find a remedy to my predicament. Okay, shit. Not again, not again, not again, not again. Alright. Okay, okay. I have a minor complaint with this game. And it's regarding the cameras. Whenever we die, we have to pick up the cameras all over again. After I read a note and I die, uh, I don't have to pick up the note again. It's not required. But you have to pick up the camera to get the photos. It's kind of a pain. Okay. Just pick up that goddamn record again. Let's run, 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 run. Oh god, oh god no. Run this way. Run this way. I have no idea where I'm going. It's just all shot in the dark right now. Oh god, where am I? Okay, I'm over here. Okay, okay, okay. Follow the cord. There it is. Hallelujah, Selena, please, for the love of god, help me. Help me. I was getting closer to Selena. To whatever this all meant. But time was of the essence. We were not alone. And I could feel the dark woman entering my mind. As she was making progress, I was losing hope I'd make it out alive. Claire de Lune by Dubossi. This is the same song that you hear when you're at the safe haven in the evil within. This is pretty cool. I like that. I like this. Now, if only I can get to that damn electrical panel. From Selena to William, expert number eight. The next evening we have an argument again. Oh, I, sh I read that already. Can I turn this on? Fuck! Okay. I have to avoid. Actually, fuck this. I'm gonna go save. I've done that. Oh, never mind. Oh god, help! Selena, help! Thank you. Can you take care of this bitch too? This way, please? Go this way so I can turn on the electrical panel. Come on now. What is she doing? She's running around in circles. Ooh, another note. Margaret's diary, excerpt number three. Today was horrible. I couldn't stop crying. I feel so sick. I puked many times and I'm so cold. Even the tea Sarah brought me didn't manage to bring me some warmth. It began early in the afternoon. I was painting when he started yelling. Everyone was in the garden to welcome a banker coming to negotiate our debt. Mother had insisted that we gave Dad his French medicine to make him sleep 
to keep him quiet, but he started yelling. He had never yelled like that. My heart stopped beating. I couldn't breathe anymore. I prayed that he would stop. If Mr. Coldbridge heard him, it would have been terrible. Nobody wanted to make him stop. This was too important, so I did for my family. I went to his room. I shouldn't have. What did you do? Did you? Did you kill your own father? Oh man, Margaret's... So she's been like that her whole life, huh? Okay, anyway. I have no idea where Selena went. And I'm not... Oh god. Oh god! No! Fuck! Ah!